Arthur has to lead as he zooms through a tunnel. But wait, Etienne is catching up. Red's starting to fall behind. I wonder why exactly he was chosen to participate in this race. Fishling fire boxes, Paxton's pulling into the lead. This is incredible. I've never seen a class of weight shunter move at such a tremendous speed. Then there was trouble. The flying stockman rounded the corner so fast his driver and fireman were both thrown from the cab. Oh no, they cry. The flying stockman was now without a crew. And without a crew, he couldn't slow down if he had to. Paxton saw the flying Scotchman race past him and saw that he had no crew in his cap. This isn't good, Nigel. The flying Scotsman's heading for a sharp turn. There's no way he'll make it around. Wait, what's this? Paxton has switched on to the flying Scotsman's line. Paxton quickly coupled to the flying Scotsman and then slammed on his brakes. The flying Scotsman zoomed around the bend and leaned on his side. He barely managed to stay on the track, but unfortunately for Paxton, he was thrown off the rails. And Paxton is down. Looks like the diesels are out of the race. The flying Scotsman's alright, but his back tender is off the rails. And this, along with Paxton's braking, has slowed him down. The finish line is just up ahead. Flying Scotsman is losing more and more speed, and Etienne is catching up. It's gonna be close, and it's Flying Scotsman. Scotsman, are you right? said Etienne. I think I'm alright, said the Flying Scotsman. I just hope Paxton's okay. He saved me from a rather nasty crash. I'll go get him, said Champion. And he raced away. And there you have it, folks. The steam engines beat the diesels and Etienne. What an incredible race. Soon Champion returned with Paxton and the breakdown train. And he also brought the Flying Scotsman's driver and fireman. They were very relieved to see their engine was alright. Paxton, said Diesel 10, what is the idea of dropping out of the race to help the Flying Scotsman? Because it was the right thing to do, said Paxton, and I don't work for you anymore. Before Diesel 10 could reply, Mallard came in with a tanker. What have you got there, Mallard? asked Etienne. This was something I found behind a shed near the starting line, said Mallard. The controller walked up and inspected the tanker. Torvanetto's premium diesel fuel. This brand is illegal, said the controller crossly. That's how Diesel 10 and Paxton were able to go so fast, said Spencer. Well, actually, it's not Torvanetto's, said Philip. What do you mean it's not Torvanetto's, said the controller. Check the inside, said Parker. 
The controller stood on top of Spencer's tender and looked inside the tanker. There was still some fuel left, but it looked like ordinary diesel fuel. This is just regular diesel fuel, said the controller. What? said Diesel 10. Yeah, said Parker. We couldn't get some actual Torvinetto fuel, so we just labeled that tanker Torvinetto and just said it was that kind of fuel. We figured if you could believe it, you would be go very fast like you were taking on the actual fuel, said Philip. Why I oughta, said Diesel 10. I think we should run, said Parker. Run! Hey, get back here! The engines and the controller shared a laugh. Okay, that's a wrap, said Champion. The filming on the movie was now all wrapped up. Now all that was left to do was the editing, and then the movie would be ready for viewing. So while Paxton and the Flying Scotsman were being mended, the editors of the film worked hard putting the clips together and adding, and adding in the sound effects and music. A few weeks later, everything was ready. The engines were repaired, the film was edited, and now they're ready to view it on the big screen. Well, Mallard, I hate to say this, but you're late, said Spencer. Haha, <laughs> said Diesel 10. We diesels have always been stronger and faster. We are revolutionary, said Paxton. Why I oughta, said Diesel 10. I think we should run, said Parker. Run! Hey, get back here! The engines and the controller shared a laugh. Paxton thought the movie was great, and he couldn't wait for his friends on Sodorf to view it, as well as all the other people from around the world. <laughs>